I drink a lot of coffee for a reason. Uh, I'm quite busy. I do start work about 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning. I, I run my own company, which I have 160 people that work for me. On top of that, I'm now working in radio full time. I've got my own radio show. And on top of that, I've got two little kids who I love, my babies. So, and Vinny, of course, and I've got Vinny. So my hands are quite full, which is probably why I stopped playing footy. So I watch footy every weekend. I don't actually miss a game. My ex-wife hated that. <laughs> but I, I watch every single game. I'm a bit obsessed like that. Uh, but I've got, at the moment, I've got four footballs in my lounge room and I'm just, if my kids want to play, I'm like, I'm ready, let's do it. I think the majority of the abuse I caught was because I was playing AFLW and then also because I'm a gay woman. And I, that, that's not a me thing, that's a them thing. And I, it took me a while to come to that, um, I guess, scenario for myself to be okay with it. So when I do get comments like that or I get the trolls, I just block and delete because it's a them thing, it's not a me thing. Life as a single mum is crazy. Um, it's, it's hard. You know, I take my hat off to single mums and single dads uh, and carers, sorry, but it's, it's, it's bloody hard. But um, my son who lives with me and my daughter lives with my ex-wife, uh, they're both, most my kids are the light of my life. Any second I get free, I go and hang out with them. But it's hard, it really is hard. I'm not sure if I'm ready to be like, Single, single, I, I think I've forgotten how to flirt, but <laughs> single mum life is good. <laughs> I think the toughest thing about single parenting is, is I just don't have that help. Um, like I can ask my family members, but I do work quite long hours and trying to navigate around trying to feel being a mum as much as possible so I'm, I'm present for my kids, plus trying to keep food on the table. My childhood made me who I am. I, I feel like I'm a resilient, strong, loving woman. Um, but I also know that with my kids and the way I want to parent, I want to make sure that um, my kids never see struggle. And I want to always make sure that I'm able to put food on the table and cater to them in a way that maybe uh, my parents weren't able to fully for us. So it's made me you know, an amazing parent, but also a very uh, driven parent. I just let my kids do their thing. Um, I feel like that's creating quite little resilient babies for me. Uh, the, Ahi is like my son. He's just he just goes up and does his thing. Like he never like we go to the park and he just he's gone. And he's only 11 months. He doesn't he comes back to me and wants to go home. So I think that's quite great. Um, and I just let my kids be my kids. But most importantly, I raise them equally. I don't raise one as a boy and one as a girl. You know, if I pull a drill set out to do some drilling, I'm going to get my daughter to help and my son. I'm not just going to you know go for one gender. <laughs> how, how can I say this without being, um, I did call Monash IVF and ask them to put sperm on ice for me. <laughs> I am going to have another kid, yeah, but in two, when Ahi turns two, I'm going to try and get pregnant again. <laughs> I am, I've always wanted three kids, so I will, I'll have a child on my own, which there's nothing wrong with that.